Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes. We're continuing through the second half of the Highland Tribe today, and we're on Brigadoom! That's with an M, not, uh, not Brigadoom, which, frankly, I don't know what that means. We got hang gliders, ballooners, jumpers, uh, surfer? Why didn't we ever see the surfer in the Beach Tribe? Seems like that would have been a natural fit, but... I guess they do a lot of surfing in Scotland. I honestly couldn't tell you. But we also got the Roper and the Laser Blaster. That's a couple of my friends. And a three-minute time limit. So this one will move quickly, whatever the solution to it is. I kind of like the way the mini-map looks. It's got kind of a... The mini-maps have kind of an Atari or Apple II feel to them. That's kind of neat. Where are we here? We're, we're, in the, we're in the floating mountains of Scotland. Ah, uh, yes. The famous floating mountains. And here's our exit down here. I'm going to assume these flowers are just background, but what are we... Oh, we have two exits. Okay. All right, I bet we're going to be... I bet we're going to be laser blasting them out. Okay, so everybody up here... Everybody is held in no matter where they are. That's at least a comfort of some sort. Here's a golf course up here. <laughs> Scotland is known for its golf courses. I do know that much. Um, where are we here? Let's see. Okay, so we're going to be perhaps maybe jumping. Can I make this hop? Yes, I sure can. Okay, so and then we're going to be going to... Let's see. Where? We have water, so we could conceivably surf, I think. Is surfing a one-time skill or is it a... I guess we'll see, but uh, we'll see if surfing is a one-time skill or if it's... Huh. There's no climbing to be done here. Huh. I'm gonna see how the surfer works. If it's an ability you have to activate in water. There we go. Alright. Uh, oh, but he only surfs for a limited amount of time and then he drowns. He doesn't actually move. So, surfing is like a way to get on the water. So, I don't... I don't understand. What's going on with that? Um, so can I, like, jump from a surfing position? What's what's the deal there? Maybe, maybe it's a good idea to try to get... No. Not really a good idea to get him out through here. If I go up through here, he walks to here, and then this way. Yeah, there's no, like, real sliding deal or anything. He would just eat it. We got the hang glider. The hang glider might be useful here. I, I don't know if that's one you can assign in air, though. I want to see if you can jump from a surf. Let's see about that. No, you can't. I don't know what the surfer is supposed to do, really. It just kind of sits there. What's the... Hmm... I have a feeling surfers are useful because we have water everywhere. Water is definitely a useful thing, but or a, or, a, or a thing you would... I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. What does Clyde build mean? Boy, Scotland is just... <laughs> Scotland is like an alien planet to me. I just, I'm, I'm American. I don't understand anything about other countries. I'm worthless. Let's try... Let's try just getting down there without the surfer. It may not be strictly necessary. So you have this. If you jump from here, that's enough height. And then, so you jump from here, and then I'm going to try hang gliding. Yeah, okay, so you hang glide down to there. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's a... Okay, he goes... Wow, he makes some... He makes some waves. Okay. The fact that he goes down there on his own makes me think there's some merit to doing it this way. But how would you then get your compatriots out over here? Maybe you'd be ballooning up into here or something? Hmm. Because, like, you could... You only have two ropers. You could rope and rope and laser blast, and that frees them. How would you then get up into here? Another jumper, maybe? And then kind of redirect? How, though? Okay, this could be... 
This could be simpler than it looks. You would definitely need like a balloon and a rope over here or something to get them over this flower. I think I'm about halfway there with it. Okay, this is, this feels really good. Cause like you go to here, okay, yeah, but then if you saved them, and even really, unless the, okay, I wanna see if the flower is a background detail. That could be a possibility. Because if we go from here, Wow, I'm a little astounded that reached, actually. If the flower is solid, then there are more problems to work out here. Is that the case? Yeah, okay, the fl Oh, the flower is a trap. <laughs> oh, oh that, is a, that is a dangerous little flower. Okay, so, hmm. Now there's that to consider. Okay, I think working out that the flower is a trap actually made this easier somehow. So I'm going to jump. Yeah, I'm going to jump here. I'm going to do what I did before. But this time when I hang glide, I'm going to fan him down. Hard down. There we go. Okay. All right. And I'm going to... I may want to do that again with another lemming. Because this one is going to... This one is going to rope over to here. Okay, and then if I could get him turned around. No, I'll just get another person to do it up here. Um, but what I want to do in the meantime then is probably hang glide again. See if I can get this. Okay, this is going to require some. This is going to require some tricksiness. Actually, I'm going to let the other one handle it. I don't want to be managing two guys at the same time. So I'm just going to go from here, I'm going to do it again, and yeah, you should be safe. I guess theoretically I could have him jump over the exit and balloon to- No, I'm going to have to hang glide into here, that seems to be the easiest way. But first I'm going to free everybody on the right hand side of the level. So again, we're going to do this, and we're going to take a hard- there we go. And this time we can free everybody. There we go. Okay, just be quick about it. That's a stun fall. It's gonna be fine for everybody. Okay, so now somebody... Okay, okay, now I've got a few people I can try this with, actually. This actually works out really well. Okay, it's starting to fall into place. I just need to hang glide over to... Wait, what did I do? What did I just do? I don't know what I just did there, but it was weird and not ideal. There we go. Okay, so now I just need to go to here. There. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this works out really simple. I should be able to laser blast the rest of them out then. Okay. Um, perhaps. This is kind of awkward. I don't think... If I get right up well... Hmm... Kind of nasty. Maybe I do want to surf over to here. Now, if you're now if you go in here and you surf, I can see surfing working out if you can get to land pretty easily. This is going to be a tough jump, though. Maybe this isn't quite it, but man, it sure feels good. I will say that for it. um. I'm going to go from a kind of low space right here. This isn't directly below the exit. I feel like they won't die if they fall from here. Let's make sure. Okay. Okay, yeah. Everybody falls on there. Okay, then it works out. Okay, I did it at exactly the right spot. Okay, well, then that worked out really fine. And we've got about a minute and a half left. I forgot about the time element of this level entirely. Uh, just kind of glad that worked out the way it did. How many lemmings we got left? Do we still have them coming out of the hatch over here? No, we've got the last of the stragglers coming from over here. Okay, well then that was not such a bad level. That one looked intimidating, but it was a lot nicer. Especially once you figure out that the flowers are a trap. That's the real key to that puzzle. I was trying to just see if they were solid, and yeah, they're solid, all right. A solid trap. Oh, <laughs> All right, there we go. We saved 60 lemmings. Did pretty good on that one. I'm pretty 
I'm pretty proud of how smoothly that one came together, actually. Next level. Next level. Moving on. What is awaiting us on level 7 of the Highland Tribe? Let's see it. It is... In memory of McAngus. Oh, poor McAngus. Son of Angus. Just some trio. A trio of tasks here. Platformers, stackers, and jumpers. I feel like we might have multiple entrances again. Judging by what we have and how this is laid out. But, huh. Kind of, wow. Kind of, well, I was going to say simple. But nothing is ever that simple. How many? Ah, yes. See? See there. We got... Where are we going? Oh, okay, we're going down, okay. So we have a cannon. Oh, great, we have a cannon. We have lots of cannons, actually. Holy cats. Okay, okay, so they go kaboom here. Oh, man, this is gonna get... Oh, this is gonna be ugly. Okay, so... Okay, so let's see how they all come out here. If we go... Okay, they're gonna go... They're pretty safe-ish, I guess. Alright, let's see Let's see how this launches at first. Okay. First cannon launches them. It's gonna be a minute before anything happens, but let's just see. Okay, well, I will need to move this cannon over for anything to actually... They're gonna get just shot into the ceiling, it would look like. Okay, well, they're all safe for now. Let's see what... Okay, this one's about to launch. Okay, pop. Okay, he's going to go to the left then. So if I move this then over... Okay. Okay, let's go ahead... Well, that didn't do a whole lot, but let's try moving the cannon over. Oh, boy. Okay, so they get boingy-boingied that way. Hmm. Well, hold on just a second. Okay, we're going to be doing some cannon experimenting here. Let's see. You boing. Boing. Okay, so if you move that one right there, they just kind of go kaboingy boingy. A few of them walk off to the left and don't do anything. That's a problem. Okay, yeah, so they go there and do that. How about if I move this cannon all the way to the right? We may have some things to try out here. Just letting, I'm just letting it run its course for now, because I want to see, okay, there's that, and then, okay, so if we were to move that to the far right, and just put down a stacker right there, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it, okay, and then have him just jump off to the left, well, not like, quite like that, but you know, you get the idea, okay, so this side is pretty manageable, it's just kind of this side that has to be, worked with a little more nicely let's see okay if i can get them all right um i kind of just like to avoid the cannon altogether if i can yeah i would like to avoid cannoning altogether but only problem with that is if i stack up to hold them in I don't really have anything left to work with to get them out of there. Except, I guess, platformers might work, but okay, it's going to take a few to get over here. I think, I think what I want to do, I think I want to move the cannons such that, okay, yeah, I want to move them over here. Alright, so you're going to go, alright, you're going to build, and then I lost the guy that I, well... That could actually still work. Um, why don't you go ahead and, I guess, just use the cannon for fun and games. Well, the stacker could have done it, I guess. Oh, huh. Okay, yeah, I'm getting all out of sorts here. Okay, so he gets in. He does that. Okay, oof, boom, cool, okay. So they're coming over here. They're going to hit on that. Boom. Okay, that trampoline saves some of them. So you have kind of a double thing working here. With the cannon. Okay, so if that cannon works the way I... 
think... Okay, so yeah, some lemmings are going to go over there. So we need one stacker here to save everybody. I think that's they're still going to walk up over that, so it needs to be a little higher. But yeah, once that's worked out, I can kind of focus on these folks. Holding everybody in, I don't think is very... I well, it could be. Okay, yeah, let's let's try holding these people. First, let's get our cannon situated over here. We want cannon right here and right here. It's gonna be a while before somebody. It's gonna be a while before somebody does something. So I'm gonna go ahead and stack. Let's try stacking. Okay, yeah, he just hits his head. Okay. Well, stacking right there could actually be. Stacking right here could actually prove kind of valuable. Because what you would have to do... Okay, yeah. I want to play with this side over here for a bit. The, these people are mostly fine if I can get this going. Okay. So what I would want to do is stack in such a way that it ends up kind of blocking it off. I'm going to have somebody kind of platform just to slow it down. And you... No, you did, I didn't need you to stack. Okay, some of them will go off into here. And I think that's okay. Alright, so go ahead and platform. Yeah, you platform to your heart's content. Well, well, then that... That makes a problem. Why did you go to the... Oh, I had him stacking. Okay, well, that's weird. I meant to have him platforming. Hmm... Okay, no, so I can't just do this. Okay, and once you hear him going, ah, over here, you need to kind of pay attention to what's going on over over on that side. So he goes kaboingy. Okay, there's nobody up here that I'm forgetting about, is there? No, okay, good. Alright, so... Yeah, this is kind of a problem, because if I make this happen with one guy over here... Oh, somebody went for splat, so maybe maybe that doesn't work, like, quite all the time. So, he goes boing. Somebody went for splat, and that's, that's bad. That kind of works out neatly, how you have this going here. You definitely need to get it to where they go more or less over here. I'm interested in getting them held in, but not using the cannon. Or in getting them out of here. Yeah, I'm interested in getting them out of here, but then not using the cannon. Like, holding them in. Avoiding using this altogether. Having one guy come over here and do this. Well, no, I'm... Uh, then they all have to use the cannon. There's more cannon usage happening. And that could be a problem. 60 lemmings can't use a cannon. Okay, yeah, some of them are walking together, and that's... That's really a problem. Like, there's two lemmings going at a time. Boom. I don't know why some of them are going... Some of them are splattering on it. And some of them aren't. This... Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Weird, yeah. So, you've got kind of two lemmings at a time... Using the, so if you got two cannons working, oh man, why, why cannons, why cannons? It's, there's just too much going on. I gotta, I gotta work this out myself for a second. What's with the little bottle of lemming wine here? Is that an? That's not another trap because nothing happened when I went under it. That's just an amusing decoration. Just lemmings like getting drunk, I guess. Okay, this might be too slow, but I'm gonna try something. Alright, first of all, I'm going to move this cannon up so that he uses it. I'm going to watch this side at roughly the same time. Okay, so you go, and as soon as he uses that, I'm going to... Okay, yeah, I just lost a lemming there to some weird cannon business. Okay, so... I'm going to move this up, so that, and I'm not going to move it until he's done using it. Okay, so... Kaboom. And now I'm going to move it back. I don't want it being used right now. How many lemmings have I got 
moving around at the moment. Two. That's a little more than I wanted over there. Okay, that's a little more than I wanted over there. I need to work this back a little. So, you do this, and you use the cannon. Okay, how many are going over here? I kind of want to seal this up. There we go, yeah, I want to... I want to seal it up for now. <coughs> okay, yeah, and I just lost another lemming. Yeah, there was the double glitch. I saw it happen in real time. Okay, yeah. This is taking a little more... This is taking a little more finickiness. This is more precise than I wanted it to be. So you go there and do that. And then... I start this. Okay. So, there we go. Okay, so now as soon... No! Stop going in it. Like, why? Why are you doing that? That's not what I want. I want to get it going so that, like, as soon as... I forgot to move it up. I want to get it going so that as soon as he uses it, I move it back so that nobody else can use it. Or they use it, but... Okay. So that goes that way. Okay, so get out of the way. Okay, that should be pretty out of the way for now. That's still more lemmings than I want going down there, though. I kind of want to block it up with a platformer so that I can just get them out of there later. And I also have some other business I'd like to attend to here. I am still going to move this one up here. But I need to move this back all the way. Okay, uh, two of them going, I guess that's fine, and I forgot about him, god dang it, too much in this, it's too busy, yikes. Let me look, that is so weird, okay, so the cannon's fuse is finite even during a pause, and then yeah, it causes some mess like that, like the lemming still gets in the cannon, even after the fuses run out. Like, the fuse runs out, it blows up, but the lemming still gets in, and then another one can activate. Yeah, that is so weird. I want to try building over the... I want to try building over the, the... Over the cannon trigger. Because if I... But I kind of need two cannons going at once, so I don't think I want to do that, actually. Okay, let's see. Let's see about you... There we go, okay. Yeah, somebody went splat there. Oh, gosh. There's just so much going on here at once. Okay, so... How are women's going for splat here? Like, every now and then it happens. And I want to see how it happens, because I'm hearing someone go splat. Yeah, it happens every so... Like, once in a blue moon, a lemon goes... Bleh! Huh. No, well, nobody's doing it while I'm seeing it. That's... God, there's so much weirdness to this level. But I do like having two going off at once here. That's... That's the fastest way to do it, clearly. But there's something happening that's just making somebody just eat it every now and then off the trampoline and i do not get it man this is a janky level all right i'm gonna keep a close eye on both sides at once for this first part because what i want is to seal them off as soon as he starts okay now they're sealing off over there get this cannon out of the way for now Okay, so that's going the way I want. Okay, yes. Everybody should be sealed in here. My idea here is to get it going so that... Okay, they do this. You need to go through this one, I think. He needs to, he needs to use this one because he needs to make it friendly for them to go out this way. And then this one needs to be pointed here. And then what I can do is I can get them out. Yeah, I can get them out with a couple of platformers, I think. If I just put the platformers on top of each other. So now I need to... Okay. 
Oh no, did I lose another one in there? Yeah, I think I lost another one in there. But, okay, yeah. Gosh, this is... This is gonna get messier before it gets easier. Okay, so I do that there. Okay, and then... Alright. You stack... We're gonna see just how many lemmings I lose to these shenanigans here. This is gonna be... This is gonna be interesting. So, go ahead and get everyone out. Okay, yeah, they're good. So now I can start moving this cannon forward, I think. There we go. Get this going now here. There we go. Okay, so now they can start coming over to this side. And I, I want to see how this works out. How many lemmings do I have to save here? Can I save everyone? That's kind of the goal every time. And that's why I kind of restart the way I do. Okay, I want to keep an eye very closely on this exit. The trampoline seems to be doing okay. But I don't know if I've lost any to the glitch. That's what concerns me. I want to kind of... Let's just fast forward to the end and see how it's going now. I'm not losing any lemmings to splatting, which is good. But this is still taking quite a long time. But we've got two cannons going at once. Which is... If you're going to be using cannons to get everybody to the exit, that's at least ideal. I do not really appreciate that level of tomfoolery, but... I mean, it is what it is. You're just going to... That's what you're going to get. Now, is this too, is this going to be too slow? Okay, so 57, 58, looks like 59, looks like I did it. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, wow. Yeah, that solution doesn't look very good until you actually sit there and stare at it and make sure it works. Any cannon business, I'm just, uh I am so not here for the cannon. I am done with cannons. Every time there's some kind of... There's some kind of jankery involved, or it's way too precise or crazy. That level was alright. Uh, McAngus, whoever you are, wherever you are, I, I wish they had memorialized you a little better. I, on behalf of uh, the Lemmings team, McAngus, I'm very sorry.